akan tsaro a kasar nan yace gaskiyar magana shine har ka tsaro a Najeriya ta zama kasuwanci wasu suna diban kudin kasa da sunan tsaro wannan shine gaskiyar abin da yake faruwa a kasar nan har ka tsaro ta zama me kasuwanci ni kuma zan kara muku da cewa jinin talaka ya zama kayan campaign a kasar nan dan me lokacin da zabe ya kusa sai kashe kashe karu to kamata ya yi talakar najeriya ya gaya wa yan siyasa ko dai ku hana kashe mu ko kuma mu kin zabe sharadin mu kenan ko ku hana kashe mu ko kuma mu kin zabe wannan shine sharadin mu idan ba ku sa an daina kashe mutane nan da ranar zabe ba to mu kuma ranar zabe fa za mu fito ba domin ran mu ya fi wata demokradiya duk duniya demokradiya karar ran dan adam ya kamata ta dinga yi ba sa wa ta dinga kashe mutane a banza a wofi ba wai a je hanyar jirgin kasa a sanya mata bom kuma a biyo da harba harbe kuma wai a shiga cikin first class a ce wannan kai ne wani zo nan wato ma yan ta'addan sun fi jami'an tsaron najeriya hanyar samun labarin intelligence sun fi su sharing din intelligence sun fi su managing din intelligence har sun kai ga za su iya zuwa su kai farmaki ina intelligence din mu suke wani ma ka ji zargin da ake yi shine a cikin su akwai masu basu kayan aiki ko labari saboda haka lokaci yayi da za a gaya wa hukuma sharadin talakan najeriya ya zama guda daya kawai ku hana kashe mu mu fito zabe ku bari a kashe mu ba za mu yi zabe ba tunda ku ba abin da kuka sani sai zabe to mu kuma sai mu gaya muku yaran zabe din ba dai sai mun je ko ba gudun za ka yi sai mun zo mun je ro alayi sannan tukun kai ka ce an je fa kure a dubu daya kuma ka ci dubu uku ko ba haka ake zaben bane a kirga ko alayi a ce kuri'a da aka jefa kwata kwata guda dubu daya ce a dubu daya ma guda bakwai ta lalace amma shi kuma malar rigimau yanzu abin da ya ci a wannan mazaba shine kuri'a dubu bakwai haka fa ake mana a kasar nan duk mun hakura hanya ba kyau mun hakura talauci mun hakura tsadar rayuwa mun hakura ariya mun hakura kwashe kudin kasa mun hakura to ku ban mu mu zauna da ran mu kuma ba zai yiwu ba saboda me da ka wannan shine ka'ida kuma ka'idar ita ce mu gane cewa dan adam tun da ya zo duniya abin da ya sani addu'a saboda da zai zo duniyar matsala ce ta kawo shi wace irin matsala matsalar da ta kawo shi shine shedan ya yaudari kakan mu adam shedan yayi ne ya yaudari kakan mu adam a lokacin annabi adam yana cikin aljanna shedan ya zo ya yaudara da shi ka san da shedan ya yaudari annabi adam da wama kar a mutu da mulki da shi aka yaudari dan adam shi yasa mulki bala'i ne idan mutane suka damu da shi fiye da kima ya zama musu bala'i kuma abin da aka cusa mana a zuciyar mu kenan mu yan arewa kawai ana magana ai yanzu wallahi in kuka bari suka yi mulkin nan shi kenan daman dan abin da ya rage a hannunku kenan wai ka ji a hannunku dan Allah ka duba hannunka dan Allah akwai mulki a ciki tsakani da Allah ka duba hannunka kai da kake ake magana ake yaudaran ka wai mulki a hannunku to duba hannunka akwai mulki a ciki ne kyakkyawan naira ma akwai a hannunka ne to ta ya haka kuma mulki yake a hannunka a hannun su dai 
sai a ce muku in ba mulkin nan shikenan to yanzu dan Allah wannan tsiyar da ake mana akwai gaba da ita ne akwai gaba da wannan tsiyar da ake mana hanya daga nan zuwa Kaduna ta gagare mu mota ake shiga da motar ta gagara an koma jirgi yanzu jirgin ma aje a sa masa bomb a kashe mutane a daibu wasu a kai su daji mutanen da suke daji ɗan Najeriya da suke daji a hannun ɗan ta'adda Allah kadai ya san adadin su ɗan ta'addan nan suna cin karan su ba babbaka yanda ka san wata ƙasa ce mai zaman kanta ɗan ta'addan nan haka suke kuma ka lura da wani abu guda idan fa an kashe mutanen kokkwaran wanda zai je ya ce musu ma ya wanda aka kashe din dan masu rai din da basu mutu ba ya je ya ce ya jiki Allah ya ke sai an yi sa'a mun yi sa'a ma wannan karan wai an tura mana mace makin shugaban kasa ya je ka dune ya musu jaje ko ba ba haka bane shi shugaban kasan ya wuce ya je ka dune ya musu jaje ku je ku duba tarihi so na wa ya je ka duna campaign ko ba ya je ka duna campaign ba lokacin yana neman ƙuri'a ba ya je wajen yan ka duna ba amma jirgi bom ya tashi a hanyar kaduna ba zai iya zuwa kaduna ba sai ya zauna ya ce wai yayi Allah wadda to ai komai lalacewar mutum a Najeriya zai Allah wadda dan ta'addan ne kawai ba zai yi Allah wadda ba gwamnati muke so kai kai gwamnati ba kai Allah wadda ba ka sa duk inda dan ta'addan nan suka shiga a je a tono su duk inda suke samun kayan aiki a datse duk wanda yake daure musu jindi a kama shi a hukunta shi karfi ne gwamnati ya yan uwa ba a kamar na masu magana suka ce ba a bori da sanyin jiki daka ba a gwamnati da lallabawa gwamnati kamawa take ta murda ta karya ta murda ta kashe haka muke so abin da muke so a kasan nan kenan duk wanda zai hana talaka zaman lafiya a nuna masa karfin gwamnati a wulakanta shi dan talakan Najeriya ya zauna lafiya talakan Najeriya ya sayi zaman lafiya har da kudin aljihun shi in ba ku sani ba an yi wani kati da ya dinga kankarewa yana turawa don ya zauna lafiya ko jariya sai hannun jariya sai ne a kamfanin waya kudin me ka tura ko ba ka tura bane to ai kai ne ma matsalar ba ka tura wa ga tabar ka ba ka je ka tura wa wani wai Allah ya sa mu gama lafiya saboda haka da aka yaudari annabi adam ya fito daga aljanna sai ya gane cewa fa Allah ya yi fushi da shi dan haka ya samu matsala ya samu matsala Allah ya yi fushi da shi ya rikice zai tafi sai ya ji murya na cewa kai adam ina zaka shi da ya tsorata ne yayi wa Allah laifi da haka zai gudu sai Allah ya kira shi ina zaka sai Allah ya karantar da shi kalmomin da zai fada ya zauna lafiya shine fatalaka adamu min rabbihi kalimatin fataba alayhi menene kalimat din shine yana na a cikin sura ta 20 bai tace daha ba ku tambaye ala ramomi qala rabbana zalamna anfusana fa in lam tagfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna minal khasirin sai suka dinga cewa ya Allah mun cuci kanmu maganin bala'i kenan in bala'i yazo ka ce me rabbana zalamna anfusana Allah mun cuci kanmu ba wani ne ya cuce mu ba wallahi ba wanda ya cuci ɗan Najeriya ɗan Najeriya mu muka cuci kanmu ko kuma ka takaita ka ce ba wanda ya cuci ɗan arewa mu muka cuci kanmu muka ki yin abin da ya kamata muka lalata zamantakewa tsakanin dattawa da kanana aka zo aka koya mana cewa ai duk arewa ba da tijo 
ko ka manta lokacin da kuke fada haka ka manta an fada ko ba fada ba to ni tun lokacin nace ni ban yadda ba baba na da tije ni ko ba haka ba ne ai dole akwai da tijo dole kuma yanzu wa yannan dattawan muke nema yanzu dattawan arewa ku yi hakuri amma ku dawo ku yi abin da ya dace ku dawo ku yi abin da ya dace abin da ya dace kuwa shine ko wane ne zai zo yayi mulki a kasar nan to ku gaya masa mu fa muna da bukata ha ko wane ne zai yi mulki a kasar nan to ku gaya masa cewa muna da bukata ba mu da muka gan mu mun zo gaban ka ko ka zo wajen mu neman kuri'ar jama'an mu ba al'umman muna da bukata kai dan arewa talakan arewa me bukatar ka kaji wani ya fadi babba zaman lafiya ya fi zama shugaban kasa da ne ake cewa ya fi zama dan sarki yanzu an canja zaman lafiya ya fi zama shugaban kasa ku zauna lafiya ko shedan ne yake mulki ba a kashe ku ya fa a ce wai kun samo wani sahabin kariya ana kashe ku yana dariya ku tsaya ku gaya wa kanku gaskiya bayan zaman lafiya me kake bukata kai dan arewa banji ba abinci kaji gaskiya abinci ba dalar kariya ba fa abinci a kasuwa ka je kasuwa ka sai abinci da farashi mai sauki abin da kake nema kenan bayan shi ilimi yan uwa duk wanda ba zai ce zai ba ku ilimi ma'anar ilimi kuma shine makarantun mu su zama suna aiki amma buni buni a rufe mana makarantu a je ya jin aiki ƴaƴan mu suna zaune kaga wancan ɗana ne na masa registration da ƴar ba shi kadai ya shiga jami'a ba bana da za su admission din ma sai da sai da haka aka samu na gama registration aka ce yazo ya zauna wai ana ya jin aiki nace to dauken mara kai ta daukan hoto na ba shi kenan ba inda nayi karatu kai ma ka je kai irin shi kai ma ka shiga kamarar ba zai yi wa ce ƴaƴan mu suna zaune a gida kuma na ku suna can a ukiran ne an dawo da na ukiran bom ya koro su amma wasu suna can a amerika wasu na ingila wasu na faransa wasu na germany wasu na dubai wasu na kai har ma an fara yin digiri dan kwatanon a nigeria ƴaƴan mu kuma suna zauna a gida kuma kuna zauna kuna cewa wai kuna wakiltan talaka ba ku san mu ba sai ranan da za ku ce mu yi layi ku kirga mu mu shanu ne da za a ce mu yi layi a kirga mu duk shekara hudu mutane ne mu to ku nuna mana mu mutane ne ku tsare mana rayukan mu to bayan wannan dattawa ku gaya musu dan arewa bayan ilimi yana san mutunci yana san ya zama mai mutunci kar ya je zai shiga wani wata a ce ba plata ne ya tsurata ko ba haka ake zauna ba yanzu yanzu duk inda ka shiga da an ce ma ba plata ne me ya faru kenan daraja ka aka yi ko wulakanta ka aka yi to kada ko tun daga lokacin shehu usmanu ba plata ne mai daraja ne ko ba mai daraja ba waye lalata darajar ba plata ne kuna ina aka bar ba plata nin nan babu ilimi kuna ina aka bar ba plata nin nan technology kimiya da za ta sa a yi kiwo a wuri kankani a samu sha nama da yawa da nono da madara da yawa ba ta zo hannun shi ba AK47 ta zo hannun shi ka je ka kalli average ba plata nin da yaji ka tambaya dan Allah in ba zalunci ba me kai bindigar ma wajen shi tuko mu dauka ba fulanin ne suke yin wannan 
banna to shikenan ta ina suka samu bundugojin saboda haka dan arewa yana san shugaban da zai samar masa da mutunci ba shi shugaban yayi mutunci mu kuma mulakut kanta ba a a mu yi mutunci gaba daya da mu da shi dan arewa yana so a rage masa talaucin da zai sa ƴaƴan shi maza ƴaƴan sa kanana su je suna bara mata su je suna bara tsofaffi su je suna bara ka duba yanda mabarata a wannan lokacin karuwa suka yi ne ko raguwa suka yi karuwa suka yi ina kuke dattawan najeriya dattawan arewa ina kuke wannan abi yake faruwa da mu abin da muke so ku gaya wa duk wanda zai zo neman kuri'ar mu nan gaba kenan idan ba ku gaya mana wannan ba za mu yadda mu sake komawa da wancan zance a ce babu datijo a arewa mu mun san akwai ku dattawa muna girmama ku muna kaunar ku muna ganin darajar ku amma wallahi idan ba za ku iya cire mana kitse a wuta ba to ba ku da amfani yan siyasar mu na arewa wallahi idan ba za ku iya cire mana kitse a wuta ba wallahi ba ku da amfani ku kuma talakawa aikin ku shine ku waye kuma ku yi addu'a lokaci ne na addu'a azimi kun ga annabi adamu da ya samu matsala me yayi addu'a amma me yace rabbana zalamna anfusana ina neman me imanin da ya yadda cewa yana san Allah ya ba mu mafita yace rabbana zalamna anfusana rabbana zalamna anfusana fa in lam tagfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna minal khasirin Allah ka yafe mana Allah ka ba mu mafita tunda alqur'ani ya ce idan bayin ka sun tambaye ni to ni a kusa nake haka alqur'ani ya ce ina an sa addu'ar me addu'a in ya roke ni ana maganan azumi aka kawo wannan magana ɗan uwa in ka duba sura al-baqara aya ta 386 ita ta faɗu wannan cewa idan bayi na sun roke sun tambaye ka ka ce a kusa nake ina an sa addu'ar me addu'a in ya roke ni kuma ba ai wannan magana ba sai bayan da Allah ya ce shahar ramadan alladhi unzila fihi alquran watan alramadan da aka saukar da alqurani ana cikin maganar ba kaucewa akai ba a'a don a nuna muku manufar azumi fa ita ce kai addu'a amma kai halin da Allah zai sanya ka matso kusa da shi ya yadda da kai don in ka roke shi ya baka da aka kafin azumi ɗan uwa mu gyara halayen mu shi yasa ma bana tafsirin da za mu yi akan gyaran hali ne kwata kwata tafsirin akan gyaran hali shi yasa muka sa tafsirin take cardinal moral virtues for brighter future manyan halayen kwarai domin haska ka gobe ɗan uwa arewa ko najeriya ko kuma mu din nan da muke zauna anan ba mu da goba mai kyau wallahi duk al'ummar da ƴaƴanta suke zauna a gida babu karatun jami'a ba su da gobe duk al'ummar da kananan ƴaƴanta suke yawo suke barachar barace ba su da gobe duk al'ummar da alaka mai kyau tsakanin masu zabe da masu shugabanci ta tsinke ta zama yaudara ba su da gobe da haka ya za mu yi mu dawo da wannan goban wannan shine aikin da muka sa a gaba muna fatan Allah ya yadda da ku kafin ramadana muna fatan Allah ya ansa dukkan addu'o'in ku a ramadana muna fatan Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ya wanke ku ya yadda da mu ya samu a aljanna kafin karshen ramadana Allah ya zaunar da kasar mu lafiya wadanda aka kashe su a hanyar Kaduna da sauran mutanen da aka kashe su a kasar nan dan zalunci Allah ka yafe musu ka ba su shahada ka ba su aljanna wadanda suke kwance a asibiti babu lafiya ko saboda dabi'a ko kuma wannan bala'i da ya abka musu Allah ya ubangiji ka ba su lafiya wadanda suke hannun yan ta'adda Allah ka kwato su 
enta adanan Allah kama na maganin su wayanda suke mana ta'addanci da kudin kasa a cikin gwamnati suke cutan mu suke lalata kasar nan Allah ka shirye su Allah ka zaunar da kasar mu lafiya hinama akhrajahu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala min aljannati bisababi isyanihi fa akhrajahu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala لكنه تفكر كيف يفعل وإلى إلى أين يذهب فأمره الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يقول كلمات وهذا ما أنا فتلك آدم من ربه كلمات فتاب عليه إنه هو التواب الرحيم وهذه الكلمات هي كما عرفنا في سورة طه قال ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا فإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين دل هذا على أن الإنسان بطبيعته يدعو الله سبحانه وتعالى وإن لم يفعل فليس بآبد وقد أمر الله بذلك ووعد بالإجابة في قوله تعالى وقال ربكم ادعوني استجب لكم فهذا امر لماذا امر الله سبحانه عباده ان يدعوه لان الدعاء هو العباده كما جاء في الحديث الدعاء مخ العباده دل ما تسمعون ايها الاحباب على ان حال التي كنا فيها في نيجيريا لا بد وان ندعو الله سبحانه وتعالى وها هو وقت دعاء وقت الدعاء قد جاء كما قال سبحانه وتعالى واذا سالك عبادي اني فاني قريب اجيب دعوه الداء اذا دعا نسال الله سبحانه وتعالى ان يستجيب دعوانا نساله سبحانه وتعالى ان يجعلنا من المخلصين المؤمنين نساله سبحانه وتعالى ان يمن علينا بالثبات ويمن علينا بالامن في نيجيريا All praises and glories are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we thank him we believe in him we be a witness that there is no deity worthy of being worshiped except he subhanahu wa ta'ala brothers and sisters in islam we have discussed in one of our summons the connection between Ramadan and faith and we followed it by a discussion on relation between Ramadan and piety today we are going to look at the relationship between Ramadan and dua supplication this is very important at a time when Nigeria is facing a very serious challenge. Everything is not working well. People are dying. Our roads are not secured. Most of the parts of the country is not secured. And the government is always telling us what we don't understand. That they are doing their best. And we deserve more than that their best. That, that is what I always say. Yes, you said you are doing your best. But we as citizens are saying that we deserve more than that your best. Because we want a secured Nigeria. And what you are now telling us that your concern is all about 2023 election. And what I am advising the citizens to do is to send a message that yes we are going to vote in 2023 but on that condition that there must be security in nigeria period to that we are not going out to vote anything if that's the only language you understand we're gonna speak it because our lives are important we are people we want to live and our dignity is important as well. Our wealth is important. Every part and bit of us is important. Therefore, you must do something to scare our life. 
and to make our security workable. We can't afford to be moving like this. People bombing our trains, killing our people, kidnapping our people as if there is no government in the country. They can gather information, they can gather intelligence information, they can dispatch information, they can dispatch intelligence information as if they are government of their own. While our government cannot share intelligence information and stop the rubbish on our ways, we can't afford it. I said it, we can't afford it. We need something better than this. And we deserve that thing better than this. We're going to pray. But we have to tell you the truth. That corruption is everywhere. That is why we are seeing this. And you have to do something about it. And you, the citizens, have to start praying seriously. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, If my servant asks you about me, I'm close, I'm near. And I answer the supplication of supplicants if they supplicate unto me. So supplicate to Allah so that he will change our situation.